Hi guys, welcome back to another Cosplay Extreme. As you can see, today we are going to be doing a makeup tutorial and a cosplay transformation. Yes, I am going to be showing you how I do my Eric Draven cosplay, aka The Crow. As you can see, I am fully dressed, just for you. The other side of this. Cool, right, so now that we know what we're doing today, we are going to get into the shiz of the business. First things first, we're going to be popping in a pair of contact lenses. So I just got myself a pair of black contact lenses over here. And I am going to be popping those into my eyeballs. I'll be right back once that's done, because this usually takes me a bit of time. Okay, now you can see I've got black eyes. So the one thing that people I've noticed in a lot of crow cosplays is everyone forgets to put the scar across the bridge of the nose because uh, in particular I'm doing the Eric uh, Draven or the crow from the Brandon Lee crow. So what we're going to be using to put our scar up is some of this stuff, uh, collodion. And what it does is it actually dries out and pulls the skin in. So all we're literally going to be doing is actually just take this stuff and I'm going to be putting this on before I do a sort of like a foundation or anything like that so it can actually stick. So, and it smells, it's, it really smells strong, so just be careful with it. So what you just want to do is find sort of like the bridge of the nose and just get some on there. Right now, we just need to let that dry. When it starts drying, it's actually going to start pulling the skin together. Once that's done, I'm going to add another coat, right? And it'll just create more and more and more in a deeper, deeper, deeper scar. So while I do that, keep an eye out. And I think two coats should be enough for this particular scar because it's not a massively noticeable scar even in the movie. Okay, right. So the next thing that we're going to be doing once this, this all dries, we're going to be doing our BB cream. Now I'm using this stuff. It, I bought this on eBay. It's called Super Biblish Balm uh, BB cream. Uh, you can barely find this pretty much on any uh, online beauty products store. That's where I found it. So take a look, maybe you'll find this. But any BB cream will do. BB cream is BB cream. BB cream. It's BB cream. It's really good BB cream. Yeah. Um, uh, one thing to sort of like uh, remember is if you're going to use BB cream, either use BB cream that matches your skin or matches the character's skin tone. That's one, one, a very good tip, I believe. I can't really see with these contact lenses, you know that. So, okay, time to do this. I hate doing this. Hats off. And, well, we need to obviously get our hair out of the way. So, we cap time. You can do it for an elf. I can do for an elf. Check it out. Hello. Okay, cool. Right. So now that we've got our hair all tucked in there and it's going to be out the way, we can start Biblesh creaming. I like to just take a, a shot of this stuff and sort of like just give me places all over the place. Now, what BB, a good, any good BB cream also sort of like has a UV blocker or a moisturizer in it. So. That's why I like to use BB cream before I start painting my face. Right, now that we've got that, I'm gonna add a little bit of color to the scar. We're going to be adding some color to the scar and what we're going to be using is the nyx all you ever wanted palette uh, this we got from Foshini over here and they have a website over here called nyxcosmetics.com if you want to check these palettes out go there i'll leave that in the description below nyx better sponsor me i'm not being sponsored by these people i'll tell you that. <laughs> the biggest thing that I, I struggle with these palettes is the actual opening them up there we go. So, we're going to be adding some color to the scars. So, it's just going to be a little touch of some pinks and some purples. So, let's do that.
But like that, I can just blend it in a little bit. And there we go. One scar, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. What I'm going to be doing just to just to set this whole BB cream stuff going on over here, I'm just going to add some fixing powder, which will sort of like fix the BB cream down so it doesn't cause too much of well, your BB cream tends to come off. Now a bit of fixing powder just make sure it stays a little longer. What I'm using for fixing powder is Derma Color. You can read that. And it is awesome. What makes this stuff so cool is, as I say, it is waterproof. So it is going to help when I start adding the white. I think that should do. Pretty. Fantastic. Now that we've got this all done, now what I can do is I can start applying the white to my face. Now, I do prefer using Snazaroo Clown White, but it is Bitch as difficult to find in South Africa. Nobody seems to have it. So what I've decided to do, or what I decided to go with, is the Cryolan Aqua Color uh, palette, which you can obviously get from Cryolan. It has to be activated with water, so it's not oil-based, uh, which makes it a little bit more difficult to, 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 to work with and spread and get nice and even. Because I usually, I would use a kabuki brush to actually just spread it over my face, but it doesn't work too well with waters. So, that said, let's get into painting my face white. Because you don't want, because it's water cut, water, you don't want it to wash your, 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 your foundation off. So, we start with sort of like tabbing motions in the beginning. Remember, when, you, when you're applying the white to your face, you don't want to cover your ears and you want to stop along your jawline. Uh, as it is in The Crow. That is how Eric Draven's makeup actually looks. And as you notice, I'm adding it in dabbing motions because I don't want to wipe. Because when I wipe, I'm going to be wiping my foundation off. The reason why I do a foundation first is when this stuff dries, it literally dries your skin out. Um, and that foundation actually protects you from drying out and becoming a prune. You don't have to worry too much about being neat. The beauty of the crow's makeup is the fact that it is meant to be messy. It's not meant to be neat. Pretty much Joker-like. I'm just going to add one more layer of fixing powder just to help absorb any sweat or anything that appear during the day. Now that we've got this going, next thing that I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be blacking, blackening my eyebrows uh, because there's no point in me having blonde eyebrows and black hair. So, uh, two ways you could do this. One, you could use mascara for your eyebrows or an eyebrow pencil. Eyebrows are done. Now I'm just going to do some black eyeliner just to get this waterline. I, okay, now what we're doing is we're just grabbing our Colors Limited palette and we are doing our raccoon eyes. Uh, I am going to be using the standard brush, or should I say the standard sponge, to first get my lines done and then I'm going to be moving over, then I'm going to move over to brush to be able to just get it sort of settled in. So now what we can do is we can actually draw, draw the line. So what I'm doing is I'm just looking straight and I'm sort of judging where the lines would go in line with my pupil when I'm looking straight and making marks as I go. Then I can just fill those lines in and draw them down my face. And now that that is done, this is the look. So far, now we can move into doing our lipstick. So this is just a, so like a, flea market lipstick. I didn't go out and spend a lot of money on brand names, but it works just as well. Black is black. So, let's get that, uh, get that going. Okay, cool. So now that we've got that all done, now we can just add the smiley face that he has. Now, a lot of guys I see do a sort of a, a curly, uppy sort of thing. 
Uh, I also sometimes do that, it depends on how I feel. But I like to go, as you can see, the line of your nose or your, I don't know what these laugh lines are that run down over here. I sort of like go as far as that. Otherwise, it seems to go a little, seems to be a little bit too far. I'll first get a thin line going. Now, I'm using the lipstick again for this. Okay, so just trying to match it. On the other side. Right, now, now that I've got that, I can take the bottom line of my lip. And sort of do that so now you've got sort of a double line running there and then I just fill that in and it gives you that effect I try not to go all jokery on this because it's very very difficult or easy to overdo it and end up looking like the Joker what we're going to do now, we're going to add the wig. Now, I was very, very lucky to have... Well, I had a friend of mine send me a wig, which she had actually styled for me, for Eric Draven. And this is my Eric Draven wig. Uh, when you get your, your wig and you style it, there's one thing that you need to, re, need to do when you do your Eric Draven cosplay. And I will show you what that is which is in the wig you'll see there is a bullet casing uh, and that is directly out of the movie with Brandon Lee so let me get this on and we'll come right back to you And that is the makeup of Brandon Lee's The Crow. But I'm not done yet. What I'm going to do for you guys is I'm going to get into full cosplay. So join me as I do that. Here we are. Uh, I am now going to get into my Eric Draven cosplay uh, in front of you guys. So now it is a cosplay transformation. So let's do that. Don't laugh. Uh, I'm going to step off frame so I can put on my pants. Cool, so, there we go, leather pants. These emulate the buttons on the Eric Draven leather pants.
And there you go guys, my Eric Draven makeup tutorial and cosplay transformation. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I got into my Eric Draven cosplay because, well, you guys have never really seen me in full cosplay and this is one of my favorites. I've taken this to a couple of cons and we have actually placed, well, yeah, we have actually placed in one of the competitions as Eric Draven. Pretty awesome. Also, take a look at the other videos that we have up here for you guys to enjoy. If you enjoyed this, you will enjoy those. If you have any questions about this, crossbar below. Please just let your fingers do the walking and ask us questions and we will answer them as best we can. Like, subscribe, please share this video out. Yes, that subscribe button needs your loving. That's why it's there. And on that note, guys, we'll catch you in the next video.